Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have a very, very special exclusive bottle for our company. Yes, I'm really excited because this is a club bottling. We have a whiskey club for our customers of our German store. And this is always a, a very big thing. <laughs> Every year we get a bottling with about 12 to 15,000 bottles. And uh, yeah, we're always very excited about <laughs> is the bottle that we chose uh, worth the whiskey.de club. <laughs> we can now taste it, and, yeah. uh, but we're not, not, we're not going to know for sure if, if everybody agrees with us. Uh, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tenth of a bottle ahead. <laughs> so uh, this is a Glen Rothers from the Independent Bottler Signatory Vintage. Sorry, back. <laughs> and um, it's vintage 2011, bottled 2022, so it's 11 years old. And the content matured in 21 hogsheads and four first fill sherry finish butts. So quite a lot of casks and that mixed together. And you see, it's not too dark. It's not this very, very oh, against the white in the background. Uh, it's more of a dark golden color than this brownish extreme sherry maturation. And this is how Glenrothes typically have their own bottles uh, manufactured, but I think if I remember right, uh, in former times they had eight to 12 casks uh, in a bottling and today they have uh, uh, according to the typical way to have ages on the bottle, so the old ones are gone. And uh, well, this is now a very specific one. Uh, yeah, which serves for our customers in Germany and Austria. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so. it's. Uh, I'm really excited about how, how good the, the content of the sherry cask is coming through. Um, you, you never can taste all of those casks cask and reject two of them or so, but you have to accept the overall mixture of those casks. And uh, we had, of course, samples before, and then we mm -hmm. said, well, mix it up and a little bit more of first fill. So, yeah, so it's always a surprise what happens in the end. Glenrothes is a distillery with a, well, a different taste than normal for a Speyside or Highland whiskey, because it's more earthy, more darker, more natural, People say, well, <laughs> that comes from the old cemetery <laughs> 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 under <laughs> which they tear the water. Uh, that's a myth. No. <laughs> uh, and up uh, on this uh, cemetery, there's the old Glenrothes house. And in that I was invited uh, a decade ago uh, to have a big tasting. And then this was a Cardi Sark tasting for the 25 year old. And then I had a look to the distillery with all those casks. It was a wonderful time up there. So the, every uh, room is decorated in different ages. So one is uh, Victorian, the other is Gregorian, and Gregorian, wow, <laughs> <laughs> King Gregor or something. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. What do you think? Should I go first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful one. Actually, I have to say, I can't remember the the samples quite well. We had quite a lot of samples last year, and but I love it. It's it's not overwhelming in sherry taste. It's it does have a nice vanilla touch to it, caramel touch to it. Where you the first thing you find is like oh a nice bourbon maturation, and it hits you. Oh, there's much much more of fruitiness, grapes, wine, sherry, sweetness in there. Much much more than than expected. Yeah, there's some strength in it as well. And uh, you have this very light feeling of coolness from the alcohol. So there's strength in it. Probably you're able to dilute a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there is some some deeper character in that. 
moving over to those typical uh, mm. dried fruits mm. and some some earthy tones so this is not the normal light fruity sweet stuff but this is more it's more complex more depth yeah yeah the more i have with, with it the more i nose it the more it goes into this sherry butt flavor mm -hmm. the beginning was really a bit of a bourbon cask but now it comes deep deep into a sherry mm, i like it yeah, yeah. cheers, cheers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's strength in it, really. Wow. So this is hefty. Uh, beside the the push of the alcohol, there's a distinct, well, spiciness moving over to a peppery or chili note, which runs up your tongue and back again. So this is massive, a big, big cask influence. Mm -hmm. And I think there should be some of those casks from European oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stronger oak influence than I expected. I expected much more lightness, sweetness, vanilla caramel. It does have that a little bit, but the main flavor was intensity with oak. A little bit of, a, as you said, European oak spices, mm -hmm. but just a a smidge of it not overwhelming not and bitter not bitter not bitter no. and um a lot of the nuances from the sherry you have a lot of fruit in there a little bit confusing if it's dried fruit or if it's fresh fruit so it's um, a mixture i would say mm -hmm. Mm Unfortunately, this one is not for the audience worldwide. Mm. No, <laughs> it's just concentrated of our country and the southern neighbor. So uh, we need that for our customers, uh, which uh, pay for that club, uh, I think, 60 euros this year. Yes. And this bottle is then included. This is a uh, bottle really worth the money. But there are other advantages in that club as well. So there's a discount on regular buys. So this is a really, really gem for that money yep. they pay for. So mm. well, we're really proud that we kept it to uh, the 60 euro mark because I think we've we've now run with the 60 euro mark for I don't know. Is it already a decade? Probably eight yeah. years, seven years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just came from 50 euros and. But 20 years before we run with 50. Yeah, <laughs> we had a long run with 50, but so now it's, it's we have a pretty long run with, with 60. <laughs> Next year, but 70. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We have actually, uh, we've actually already got in contact with people and it mm -hmm. looks like we're going with 60 again. Mm -hmm. if, if, okay. not, if not, if not, something big changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, this is a, a really nice bottling that is uh, in the nose it's very very nice and friendly sweet fruity the taste bit more strength in it still some sweetness mm -hmm. fruitiness so it's a, a beginner friendly interesting nuanced complex bottle everything you want in a bottle is in there with this extra touch of darkness uh, yeah, differentiating it from the space side whiskies typically really nice bottling we've done a really good job it will not get a whiskey.com award because we're not doing that <laughs> you're not getting yourselves an award yeah mm. so i think you got mm -hmm. your last tip so it's for mm -hmm. me if you like this video yes uh, give us a thumbs up and unfortunately <laughs> we can't satisfy your wishes to have that bottle mm -hmm. but uh, there are Glenrothes out there on the market as well. And the main character of Glenrothes is, of course, this one. You can't mimic with that main character. Yeah, but this is specially collected. But uh, these are 25 casks. So uh, this is quite an average uh, around these Glenrothes. And unfortunately, those Glenrothes are, I think, more expensive than this one. 
<laughs> yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you for, for watching. There's more to come.